Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Scorpio weekly tarot reading from May 29th to June 4th, 2023. Scorpios, welcome, welcome. Let's see what energies, what messages we have for this upcoming week. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio from May 29th to June 4th. There is a money and career reading for this upcoming week or this week, whenever you are watching this, uh, that is already up. So if you are interested or you haven't checked it out yet, you might want to go check it out. All right, let's see, Scorpio, what we have as general energies here. Nice, the star. Wow, the fool and the page of wands something new something new and you're really moving into something calmer i think you're believing in yourself so much more scorpio allowing these positive energies to come in it's a whole new vibration here it's not the first time i say that with this this fool you believe in yourself you believe in your energy there's a whole new um way of reacting with people, uh, getting up in the morning, uh, it, just a smile on your face, thinking positive, allowing new vibrations to come in and allowing yourself to dream, allowing yourself to hope and to believe that all kinds of things can happen. All these things that you didn't even think of for months, even years, um, you're just focusing on one thing or focusing on, you know, going inward, that hermit, hermit period, right? Where everything was so confusing and so complicated. You're now, you're ready. You're ready to welcome, right? You've opened your doors. You've, you've aired everything out, opened your windows. And now you're just contemplating the world and sort of waiting for the new opportunities, the new vibrations, love, connections, whatever it is that you desire to come in, right? Well, now you have to rebuild everything, but that's the way it feels with the fool, right? The beginnings, the, the, that free spirit that, okay, I, I left everything else aside, all the heaviness, all the sticky situations, all the confusion, and now I really would like to embrace happiness and and just the fun and the joy in life. And here we have the Wheel of Fortune, right? Good luck. And that new cycle coming in. Wow, brand new cycle between the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. It's just really a... a a wonderful you're finding your purpose and you're finding a new purpose that's that that calm after the chaos and and maybe you're finding spirituality maybe you're finding love maybe you're finding that that job or that purpose doesn't even have to be a job it's that you're you're finding purpose in life again there we go and it's really and here we have the three of wands opening up success planning the future planning trips planning connections uh putting yourself online if you want to try to find a relationship or going out meeting people or you know going out on uh, you know having ideas for projects having ideas uh to meet family to see family to see friends as opposed to before you were sort of so uh cloistered that you don't you didn't want to deal with anything and now with this three of wands you're open to the world you're probably planning a whole bunch of things it's really beautiful it's 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 your faith coming back your faith in yourself but also the faith in all kinds of good things coming in good karma synchronicities synchronies synchronicities are going to be popping in this is a whole new karma here a whole new period uh cycle right call it what you want it's it's very exciting and you have the page of wands which is all new right you you have the enthusiasm of a child uh you know discovering something new and you it, it's just so 
black and white because just a few months ago you were still lost in translation like i like to say and um not really open to much and still trying to you know understand why everything was so blocked and everything was so bleak and now now it's just wanting to play wanting to get out get out and play i love this all right let's see Let's see what's going on here. Are you planning to travel? Are you expanding a business? Are you expanding a job? Are you traveling for your job, right? But but it's it's whatever it is that you're doing, right? Whether you're traveling for pleasure or whether you're uh, expanding your world, um, wanting to connect with the world, it, it is, um, you're really opening up to maybe other cultures, other ways. Uh, you're very curious of the world and you're very curious to build something new. Yes, new direction, there we go. It's a true, true breakthrough here with the Ace of Swords. Complete transformation, wow. Here you are, Scorpio, complete transformation leaving all behind, whatever it is that you haven't left behind yet, because I feel like you've left so much behind, little by little by little, layer upon layer upon layer, understanding who you truly are and how you have transformed and how you are a different person, right? Compared to a year ago or two years ago. And now it's the whole new rediscovery of yourself. And you have these new emotions, these new sensations. And that's why you're, you want to get yourself out there. And that's why you're happy to go connect with the world again, because you are a new person. The hangman and the chariot. And look at all these major arcana. I mean, it's incredible. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, six major arcana and one ace with a complete new turnaround, right? It's, it's you really understanding now that maybe the last few triggers or emotional layers that were difficult or, you know, misunderstandings with family, with friends, with jobs, with yourself, you know now who you are and you know what you're going to stand for. Well, you know what you don't want. You don't, you know what you're not going to tolerate anymore. But most of all, you know how to love yourself and you understand what hurts you and you understand the people that have hurt you or the situations that sort of block you and, and, and shift you into that, that, toxic cycle again of, you know, oh, I'm not good enough, or I didn't do the right thing, or I didn't say the right thing, or, oh, they, you know, they think I really should do better, or or, or in their eyes, I should do so much better, right? And it's, it's really understanding that you're good. You're okay. You're a good person, Scorpio. You're a beautiful person. And you now know that whatever emotions, the last few emotions, I mean, we all have emotions and we will always continue have, to have triggers and figure things out. But you have done such a spring cleanup, right? Spring cleaning um, after all these years that the last remnants of, you know, those emotional disappointments or triggers or misunderstandings or, you know, um, you, you, you now can control them. And even though they're still difficult and they will always remain, you, you know how to manage them and you're okay with that. And that settles you a little bit. And that makes you so much more powerful, right? Letting these go. And it's, it's clear to you now what, you know, what you're made of and what you want in life and how you want to go out and rediscover the world, maybe start a new life in a different country, maybe, you know, move or start your family or, you know, um, completely change your career. Um, it, it's really about um, a, a rebirth. 
here and 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 it's it's finding that joy of life again because you finally have accepted that maybe all the layers that were difficult to deal with uh difficult to tr channel um it's okay they're still there but you are a beautiful person and if some people think not or some people want to diminish you or some people think that you're you know, you're not doing good enough or you're not whatever you're, it's okay. It's okay because you know, you have done the best you could and you know, you're in a good place right now. Wow. Wow. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful energy Scorpio and you have the hangman, right? It's, it's constantly reassessing, constantly assessing where you are having a new, um, a new perspective and understanding to shift, to turn, to adapt, to change, to be, you know, and that is a constant with Scorpio. And as much as some signs do not like uh, the um, going inward or figuring things out or reassessing your path or reassessing your energies, is this for me? Is this not for me? Is this working for me? Can What can I do? What can I change? Take care of yourself first, Scorpio. You are your friend. You are the most important for yourself. If you're not going to do it, no one else is going to do it. So make, make yourself a priority at all times. And I think that's what was sort of lost, right? In what's my power? What's my purpose? And now you have this chariot where, oh my, my, oh my. It's, there's no, there's no... And there's no, there are doubts. I want to say there's no doubt and there's just pure de determination of you pushing forward to happiness, to success. But it, it's really about your, the control and your willpower. And it's that action forward that you, you really, you're ready. You're ready to be happy. You're ready to be yourself. You're ready to embrace the world and whatever happens, you're okay. Whatever happens, you're in the right space, in the right mindset. All right, let's see if there are a few more cards that want to come out in this second deck. Scorpio Weekly, May 29th to June 4th. These are general energies. A general perspective. Here we go. Yes, nine of swords. Almost like you're you're stressed with the past. You might be stressed with your family or stressed with family situations or uh, maybe with a job with kids or a past situation, a past job, a past relationship, a past situation with family or with your kids, right? It's, it's giving you anxiety. Yes. And you have, this can be the past relationship, a passion, right? A toxic relationship, but you stand firm. You, you got this. You got this, um, Scorpio, because even if it's difficult and you can't deal with that situation or you're tired of repeating yourself or you're tiding, tired to go back to that same anxiety, back to that same situation, that same story, that same narrative, right? You're you, but you are okay, right? With the lovers, you're in harmony. You know where your values are and you know where your, la your values are within a relationship. So, if you have a relationship coming back or you're constantly going back to those triggers that you had within a relationship or within a family situation or a job situation, you know where you stand and you're true to yourself. You're really honest, honest with the world and honest with yourself. You're a loyal person, Scorpio. You tell it like it is. Uh, not everybody wants to hear it, but you're always honest with your approach and with your opinion. And sometimes you voice an opinion for everyone else, which is good. Or you vo voice an opinion out loud while everybody will, you know, hush hush. And that's a good thing. But there's there's something here about a relationship that that you keep 
stressing about, right? Keeps coming back in a cycle, in a circle. All right, let's see if there's a few more cards that want to come out. But I like that you're sort of aligning with your choices, with your convictions. You know, right? You know you're making the right choices. You know you're 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 true to yourself and whatever conversations you have or decisions you have to make it's you know this is where you stand yes no matter what queen of wands aries leo sag you might be dealing with an aries leo sag sorry oh nice all right, let's see what this is. Because there's an offer here. Or there's money coming in after a situation here. Family or relationship or whatever it is. But there's money coming in or an offer coming in um, for, let's see. Let's see what other cards we have. For, again, the Three of Wands. So, for, again, something successful that's sort of opening up your world. So are you traveling? Uh, someone offering you an opportunity to travel, offering you an opportunity to go back to something, offering you an opportunity to mend something, right? To mend um, a family situation or a relationship situation or a job situation. Yes, but you're tired. You're tired. You're done with the ego situation. Done, done, done. You're, you're bored. You're. It's like... You feel like a broken record, right? Over and over and over and over again, talking about the same things. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let me just grab a little water. Give me one moment. I feel like you're, you're moving into your power <clears throat> because you don't want to deal with all this, this ego anymore. All right, let's see what we have here. One last message for the road. Scorpio, you, no matter what, you have this beautiful, beautiful sensation of freedom, free spirit, and, and just no matter what, you are just pushing forward into your narrative, into your scenario into your happiness and your life. And no one is going to get in your way anymore. No one is going to tell you how you must be, what you must do, what you did wrong, right, right? Everybody always has an opinion. None of that is gonna get in your way anymore. You're just pushing forward. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Scorpio Weekly. May 19th, or May 29th, sorry, to June 4th. Here we go. King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Okay. Ace of Swords. Wow, we have three aces, four aces. And Knight of Pentacles. So, this new direction is clearly something that makes you happy. And you're, I mean, it's action forward. You're organized. You're organized step by step. You're moving into your happiness step by step. You're organizing your new life, your new ways, your new approach. It's, it's really shaping itself a uh, little by little. And you are um, with this king of pentacles you're really able to understand who you are, right? And and what, you know, what, how to manage your money and how to be very uh, disciplined in your financial security. And that is the most important thing for you. Can be de dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but you're really working hard um, and taking your time, taking your time to 
choose this happiness, to um, shape this happiness. I don't know how to, how, how to say it, right? To just build this happiness with this Ace of Cups, just feeling utterly comfortable with who you are, no matter what right it's so it's either a new com, a new relationship coming in uh or you just feel joy and and compassion compassion for the world but most of all compassion for you wow wow scorpio absolutely beautiful reading i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did thank you so much for watching Thank you to each and every one for supporting this channel, for sharing your journeys, sharing your energies, for all your messages. Scorpio, you have championed this channel to 25K, so thank you to each and every one from the bottom of my heart. Please keep on commenting, and if you don't wish to comment, which I completely understand, just put a heart down below. Let me know you connected with this reading. Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. Have a great week. Uh, don't forget, uh, there is a money and career up as well if you want to check that out, if you haven't, if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. Take care. Bye-bye.